It was a historic turnout. It's my first vote of my life. Fari Al Shakir proudly shows us the proof that she voted, her purple inked finger. Do you think the youth have been engaged by this election? Yeah, exactly. Everyone wants change. We visited a number of polling stations. So this is a polling station in a village. And everywhere, the turnout was massive. Assalamualaikum. 56-year-old Tahir Farooq is blind and can barely walk. When we asked why he'd come here, he told us voting was his democratic right. So this is a women's only polling station. They've given us permission to go inside. Let's take a look. So it hits you like a heat wave the moment you walk in. It is sweltering in here. Inside, we found women braving soaring temperatures, more than 100 degrees. Thank you for talking to us. And watch this, right in the middle of an interview. As you see from the back. Watch your back, watch your back. <laughs> an excited mob of women nearly ran over our cameraman as they demanded their right to vote. It is a huge message from the people of Pakistan to say that we value democracy. In the end, this is the man Pakistanis elected. Nawaz Sharif led Pakistan twice in the 1990s before he was forced into exile during a military coup. Nice to meet you. I'm Mohammed Lila with ABC News. He gave us exclusive access, riding along with him in his motorcade. What's the first thing you'll do if you're elected? Deal with the, the economic crisis that we are facing. This is number one priority. And the, I think if we do that successfully, we will all, we'll solve all our problems in this country. But with a growing militancy within its borders, it's clear Pakistan's new man in charge has no time to waste. Mohammad Leela, ABC News, Islamabad.